Get the calculator out. Get the calculator out. I got to convert. Okay, get surprise. 44 million. I think it's like 44? 60 million. So, okay. Two bedroom. It's. So today we're heading out to this cool new place that kind of gives off the same vibe as BGC. Now we were actually there yesterday for an event, but we were only there for around an hour. But for the short period of time we were there, we really liked the feel of this town. So we're gonna go back right now and see what this place is all about. Plus, the ABC family is coming from the US tomorrow, so we need to get Uncle Phil's birthday present. Yep, Tito Phil's turning 21, again. Now this town that we're talking about is in Pasig City, but it's only about three miles away from our condo. And when you're in uptown BGC, it's only about one and a half to two miles. We just gotta go over this bridge right here. We just crossed over that bridge, so without traffic, it took us about five minutes to get here. Now with traffic, we'll probably take 10 minutes. Thank you for your mom. So yesterday we were here for a creator's fair that our good friend Jacko invited us to and we got to meet a lot of the local influencers which was really cool because you know they were kind of showing us the ropes around here and we got inspired by just speaking to them and hopefully we can collab with a few of them that would be the best. Anyways we really didn't get to experience this place so we're going to go see what places they have here. Now, just to clarify, even though it kind of feels like BGC, it's definitely not as big as BGC. Now, this place is about 10 hectares, and BGC is roughly about 240 hectares. So you can say it's more like a miniature BGC. So I would say this is probably the size of uh, two blocks of High Street. All right, so I was reading up about this town and there is some historical significance. This area is the redeveloped area where the old Rizal Provincial Capital Complex used to be. And there is some rich history dating back to the early American period in the Philippines. Wow. But yeah, the vibe and the feel definitely feels like BGC. You've got like the modern architecture and then you've got this nice looking mall called Estancia. And in the middle of this area would be an open green space, kind of like a park. I really like how open this place is. You can see all the shops surrounding this park right in the middle. It kind of reminds me of Burgess Circle in BGC where they have this circle green park and there's tons of like restaurants and shops around and this is just very cute and charming and starting right now they're making uh, one more condo building and they're so far they have two buildings over here but they have three in total so far you're just taking a tiny piece of BGC out of here it's because like clean safe it just has that feeling because there's also a lot of American brands just like BGC so they have similar shops and restaurants like tipsy pig right here yeah they even have Vikings on that side Buffalo Wild Wings Centro it almost feels like an extension of BGC so we've covered the outside of the mall now let's go inside and find Phil a birthday present now I really want to get one of these salespeople and check out one of the showrooms uh, for this new building that they're constructing. I'm curious to see what the rent is and what the prices are around here. Okay, what do you think Uncle Phil's gonna want? Hmm. Something for editing or something for his back? Uncle for Phil his has for his butt. Yeah. <laughs> for both. I may have just re-injured my coccyx, my tailbone. He needs the cushions for both. You need to protect the buns. That's yeah. the most important thing. Maybe some tech gadgets, maybe. Good so idea. let's go find. Let's go on the first floor first. It's hard to get someone who's already techie a tech gadget because he probably has everything he needs, but a book might work. First, we're gonna go to National Bookstore. We have five stops to see what we can get Uncle Phil. Nice looking mall, by the way. Very modern and upscale. How about Game of Thrones? Is he a Game of Thrones kind of guy? 
or is he a romantic type of guy? A passion for him. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> no? <laughs> wrong, wrong. We found one, Phil. <laughs> Ooh, naughty and wild. Wait, what the heck? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, sorry, oh. sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, sorry. okay, okay. Expect okay. That. We were okay. In fiction and literature this is section. fiction and literature. <laughs> I didn't know. Okay, guys, help me out. <gasps> oh my god, this is perfect. What about oh, chess? Phil, you're gonna love this shopping mall. How about a recorder? We're not a, That's we're not, not, not a recorder, a that's a flute. It's a recorder. A flute is like this, because I used to be a flutist. This is a recorder, Ocampo. Recorder, that's the first time I've ever heard of a recorder. Okay. Recorder or flute? Which one's better, recorder or flute? Ocampo. Oh, cool. Oh, I like it because it talks about the history of the Philippines, but it's also by Ocampo. Let's go. Um, what about this one for Phil? You're telling us what to do. Yeah. Just be yourself. Be yourself. Be yourself. Oh. Feel yourself. Feel oh. yourself. I found something. A dictionary. You know Phil, he loves his words. Ubiquitous. Uh, what else does he say? Disarray. I mean, I, these are common words, but for someone to say it, it only sounds good when Phil says it. So I need a thesaurus. Acoustically, suboptimal. I've heard him say a lot of stuff that only he would say. But my favorite, again, is gelatinous. Because it's very gelatinous, so... How about Tagalog? He would say Tagalog. Tagalog English Dictionary. All right, so this is a start. We're just getting a couple things for now, and we'll keep looking. Hopefully we find something here. What did you get Phil here? Again, that's very hard. You got a techie and you got a traveler, but he probably has everything he needs. He has all the suitcases, he has pretty much everything here. Water bottle? No. When he's in BGC? No. Let me okay. check the wall. Uh, this is a no-go. I would have bought like 15 things here, but he probably would have not liked any of them. Um, let's see what we got here. A phone case? Christmas. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna like anything here. It is very challenging shopping for Phil. Just like it is shopping for Nelvin. Because like, what do you get guys that have everything? They've got their own style. They have a particular way of living, so. Can we just get Phil a gift card? That's so impersonal though. Gift cards are so impersonal. Yeah, I was gonna give him a coffee maker, but doesn't drink coffee. Alright, so in between the east wing and the west wing is this little center area where you can buy stuff. Like they have juices. Nice goods. They have more authentic snacks here and it feels great because the breeze is just flying by here. Got some very upscale furniture store. You got West Elm and you got Pottery Barn. And one that I've never really heard of is called Styles Asia. By the way, an update on our condo. We're still not done furnishing it. Yeah, we really need to uh, step up our furnishing game and get back to it because we've been so busy that we've just kind of taken a long break from furnishing. Ferrari bed. Can we get Phil this? It's on sale. It's 400,000. It's a lot of money. You think Phil will like it? That's a steal. You guys can hang out. <laughs> we can hang out. Another decor place. I think we're shopping for Phil, not for us. I know, but it's so hard to find like really cool decor spots, and this one looks amazing. Modern, chic, clean, our style. We still gotta find Phil a present, and uh, right now we really want to see the condos here. So we're gonna go to the salesperson up in this third floor, see if we can check out what they look like. Oh, this is where we attended the event yesterday. Right here it was packed. Now it's empty. It's Victor. How you Hi. doing, Victor? Can we see a place here? Sure. Oh, awesome. I have a grand showroom. A showroom? Yeah, on the sixth floor. You can see yeah. a showroom? Yep. Oh, great. All right. When we were getting a grab yesterday, when Victor stopped us and he was like, hey, we know you, Mom Duty. <laughs> And he actually works for Artigas Land, so this is perfect. I'm, I'm really camera shy. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> just be yourself. Hey, Victor, just be yourself. Yeah. But the best version of yourself. <laughs> I'll, I'll try my best. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you in my feed because oh. I'm always watching foreigners from uh, BGC living yeah. in BGC and I uh, found you guys. <laughs> oh, awesome. <laughs> the story about you guys, it's really 
It's three few people who does that. Uh -oh. like, this goes up to six four? Yes. On the east west wing. wing. East wing. East wing. Yeah. This is a pretty big mall then. <laughs> so Victor, you born and raised in uh, Manila? Yes, in Bulacan. Do Bulacan speak um, another dialect? No, uh, just Tagalog. Tagalog. Okay, I speak Kapampangan, so and I know it's close to uh, Pampanga. Yeah, it's very close. Yes. Any brothers or sisters? Oh, uh, my brother. Uh, my sister. She's in Canada right now. I uh, migrated in Canada 12 years ago. So you were born in Bulacan, though. Yes. I was and then you left when? I left the Philippines when I was 18. 18. 18. Yeah. How old are you right now? Now I'm 30. 30? Yeah. I thought you were 14 years old right now, <laughs> man. You look so young. You're 30. Look at this guy. <laughs> so the main question is, um, Victor, what do you like better, Philippines or Canada? Uh, it's more fun in the Philippines. I used to work in a... I'm an oil, oil field worker. No way! Yes, I used to be a welder. Wow! Yes, I used to be... Uh, was, in the snow. <laughs> yeah, in the snow. <laughs> what part of Canada? Uh, Edmonton. Oh wow, it's really got cold over there during it's the really winter. really cold. Yeah. <laughs> it's very different from here. It's really fun over here, even though I'm working, but I'm still having fun. There you go. We are now in Ortiga land. Ortigas land. Okay, before we see the rooms, we're gonna go ahead and get our bird's eye view. Here's my drone shot coming up right now. What makes this special, um, uh, there's an ongoing subway station going from uh, Quezon City from Naiyar Airport. That's going to be pretty awesome and very convenient for a lot of people. So uh, there's two stations going here in Ortigas. Uh, there's uh, the Ortigas South. So th this is the Ortigas South and Ortigas North. So we're here, ongoing subway will be right there. Walking distance to the Estancia Mall and to everything. That's amazing. Now, when is that uh, going to be done, the subway? Uh, subway is targeted for 2028. 2028. Yeah. Uh, so now, of course, we got Filipino time. So maybe, you know, <laughs> give or take 2028, 20, 2030, maybe. <laughs> Let's go check out the one bedroom right now. And it's roughly about 67 square meters. Ooh. That's a nice one bedroom. Wow. Wowee. Beautiful layout, right? It's so open right when you come in. And the balcony. And the balcony. Is that the there we are over there. The Loving the layout and the view. You can see BGC from here. <laughs> <laughs> we have a free two years uh, free internet. Ooh, like and, that. Uh, and it's a smart home living. It's over here. That would be... Uh, 1000 mbps yeah. super speed <laughs> <laughs> and you got a little laundry room right here and into the bathroom very roomy bathroom it's very nice it's a beautiful unit great use of space can't spend too much time but we're gonna go ahead and look at the two bedroom unit oh wait the most important question how much is this unit uh for this unit one bedroom oh. six to seven square meters six this seven. comes uh 22 million to 23 22. with one parking So this is a two bedroom, 100 square meters, about 1,100 square feet. And right when you walk in, there's a helper's room with a washer and dryer. And then you have the kitchen right away. <laughs> and it comes with Victor. And it comes with Victor. Very there he is. <laughs> Look at all the appliances. I like the backsplash, beautiful. You can it feel it too. That's a it's great contrast. Really very yes. modern, my goodness, the marble. I'm very impressed. Look how beautiful this Whoa. is. Whoa! This is the bed I wanted to be like, except without the drawers and stuff. Oh, amazing! Here's it's heaven. Here's this is a beautiful bedroom. That was bedroom number one. Let's see bedroom number two. Is it? Oh, this is bathroom. You got the dining table here. Wow, look at these beautiful chandeliers, the lighting. Whoa! This is pretty spacious too. Look at. Super spacious. All right, so let's go see the second bedroom. What do you, you would think that. It's just this area. Look, but if you go over here, there's a secret hidden bathroom. Look at this. Whoa. Oh this is amazing. Goodness. His and her sinks. And look, look. Wow, this is a big bathroom too. And you got floor to ceiling windows. Really like it. I like the floor plan. Well done. 
Okay, Mr. Neil, what's the price? All right, get the calculator out. Get the calculator. Can I, I gotta convert. Get the price, get the price. Okay, guess the price. How much was the other one? Twenty-two million pesos. Twenty-two okay, let's million. Let's double that and maybe yeah, actually. 40, 44 million. I think it's like 44? sixty million. Six. What? <laughs> I I would say this would be so about uh I would say about forty-five. So okay, a two bedroom in Empress, it's thirty-four million Ooh. to forty million. Oh. 34 to 40, yeah. okay. Wow. With, including with two parking. 600,000. 600,000. 400,000. Okay, so the next question that I have is rental price for a one bedroom. For one bedroom is 67 square meter. With parking, it's uh, more or less 75,000 a month. 75. Yeah. So cheap. Uh, there's not a lot of uh, residentials here, which is a good thing. It's limited. Yeah, it's yeah. limited. Okay. So, by the way, Mr. Capital Commons is a 50% open space. Uh, if you look outside, you can see the Capital Commons part. Mm -hmm. So, that's area is uh, forever. So, the big advantage between here versus BGC would be the location. Not only are you having a subway here nearby walking distance, but you're also more in the middle of uh, Metro Manila. Right, easy access to the north, to the south, everywhere else, right? Yeah, so okay. from here, going BGC, it's only 10 minutes uh, using a Santa Monica Bridge. So that's yeah. called the Santa Monica Bridge. Yeah. It's almost like a seamless transition. You minus that bridge, you feel like you're in BGC almost. Okay, uh, last question. What is the rental for two bedroom going for? Two bedroom, it's uh, 120, including with two parking. Any questions, guys? We're gonna go ahead and leave uh, Victor's information down below. Thank you so okay, much. Okay, awesome. Victor, good luck, man. Thank you so much. Mr. Neil. Thank you, sir. Salamat. Maraming salamat. So, would you ever buy here to live versus BGC? Probably not. I like the BGC vibe because it's bigger. Uh, but this is a great place. I would just buy here for investment purposes. I would say that it's a very, very nice place to live at. But I would not consider it my home. But it's, it's a very nice place to invest. So, my answer is maybe in the future. So, yeah. All right, we're gonna go ahead and look for, uh, keep looking for Phil's birthday present. That's gonna be hard to do. Hopefully we find something, but we're gonna have Rocio close this off for us. So I believe that the thing that caught our eye coming here yesterday was the vibrant atmosphere, right? So the energy here, the dining, the excitement of entertainment and all of the social experiences. It kind of reminds us of BGC, but I still love BGC so much more. But in the meantime, if you guys want to watch more Mom Duty content, click here or you can click here. See you guys. Make sure to subscribe right here. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe right here. <laughs> Bye.